Anthony Sal here from Comic Pop to talk about The Wildstorm number one, written by Warren Ellis, the art by John Davis Hunt and Ivan Placencia. This was given to me by DC Comics. I want to thank them for their generosity and helping me speak more intelligently about this issue. The Wildstorm has a long storied history with Image Comics and, of course, with DC Comics. What's interesting to note is that Warren Ellis is coming back and looking at this universe as a separate autonomous universe, and I think it's probably for the best. This reimagined version of the Wildstorm universe is, in essence, deeply rooted in the origins of the Wildstorm universe proper. It is about espionage. It is about conspiracy theories. It's about technology gone wrong. It's about genetics gone wrong. It's about aliens, maybe? There's a lot of different ideas that Warren Ellis is kind of revisiting from his days on The Authority and Stormwatch, and it's interesting to note that Warren Ellis doesn't normally go back and revisit properties that he's done before, but he was apparently revisiting the concept of not revisiting his old properties when Jim Lee came to him with the project in the first place. And I think the concept of having carte blanche to relaunch four potential new titles in a totally separate universe that is distinctly different and autonomous from the DC universe, using characters that he had a hand in creating and developing in the first place, it's really kind of exciting because it gives Ellis an opportunity to try something different with an old familiar universe. The art is really interesting because while the Wildstorm first started out from Image with really, really super heroic, as they called it, widescreen comic book storytelling, this is very, very conservative. It reminds me of the old Dave Gibbons Watchmen nine panel structure. And it plays with that format, but at the same time, it's still very regimented and very uh, strict and conservative. And for that, I kind of applaud it because I think that it is in its own organization demonstrating the tone and the feel that we're going to get from the Wildstorm in the future. Old familiar characters are recast in a brand new light for a new audience, and I'm kind of excited to learn more about who they are in this bold new world. If you are looking for something that is completely separate from the DC Universe, something entirely different from anything that is probably being published right now, that plays with old-school anime and Philip K. Dick sci-fi reality, then this is definitely going to be a book for you. Special thanks to DC Comics for sending us a copy of The Wildstorm. It just came out this week. Pick it up at your local comic book store or online. We'll see you guys next time on DC Fans.